Hey guys, Dracanis here with a quick update on the Lenovo Y510P that I purchased uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, so it came out of the box without the 24 gig hard drive actually being utilized. Uh, the solid state is what I'm talking about. On the higher end configurations, you get a spin, spinning disk terabyte drive as well as a 24 gig uh, solid state drive, which is in the M SATA or micro SATA slot on the motherboard. So, as you can see here, default partitioning out of the box is this recovery partitions. Uh, apparently, Lenovo also put this 25 gig partition here to act as their personal recovery and another recovery. And uh, I mean, this is just honestly, it's a mess, and it's something I need to figure out at some point. But the part I'm a little upset about is it had this 25 gig uh, partition here that had nothing in it. Uh, so I immediately assumed, which this is what I get for assuming, that, oh, hey, this is the 24 gig solid state. So named it and installed Star Citizen on there. Unfortunately, as we can see, it's, it's on the spinning disk, which really isn't doing me a whole lot of good to have it on this other partition over here. So, uh, doing this from what I've read is a little bit more complicated than it's supposed to be, uh, simply because of the way they do it. So you do have to come into computer management, which is in the um, administrative tools in the control panel. And from here we can delete the volume, uh, you know, According to this, it wasn't created by Windows, so it doesn't really want you to delete it, but we know there's nothing on it. It's out of the box this way. We just need to delete it. That way we can make a nice new partition on the solid state. Now we've got that unallocated. Let's go ahead and delete this one over here. Now we've got this nice 22 gig unallocated spot here. So we're going to create a new simple volume, max the volume size. We're going to assign it the drive letter S because this is going to be for now my dedicated Star Citizen folder. Now I know there was a post on Star Citizen that this is going to be uh, their internal build right now, I believe, was at something like, don't quote me on this, but 100 or 200 gigs. Uh, I honestly would not be surprised one bit if by you know the drop of beta persistent, when we actually get all the worlds and everything, and everything's kind of fleshed out, uh, you know, upwards of about 40 gigs. So obviously this little 22 gig partition is not going to handle the whole game. So, let's go ahead and name that Star Citizen Bitches. No, we won't do that. Uh, I'll just name it Star Citizen and Beyond. Quick format, because you don't really need to do anything else to it. Formatting. And there we go. Healthy partition, Star Citizen and Beyond, mounted to the S slot. Let's go over into here. Oops, don't want that. And where did it go? Ah. Yep, so this is why we shouldn't do things live. I've got my uh, sync on a server as S, so obviously this isn't going to mount to S. Uh, so we're going to change it to... Uh, just do B. For plan B. Here we go, and now it popped up. I uh, should have known that 
from experience it pops up a window when it properly mounts so there we go now we go back here there's my 22 gig drive star citizen and beyond for b um so now i just get to reinstall star citizen uh i think that'll do it for now we'll see you guys in the verse